AdCAD provides a specific toolbar with all support functionalities for rendering. We recommend that you download and install PovRay. This is a freeware rendering engine of excellent quality. You can export to PovRay in two different ways. The first that we are now showing is to save our scene in a file and then process it at a later time. Or you can export and directly process the scene. In both cases, you are prompted to select a camera to process the perspective view or to process the current view. In the latter case, simply reply with Enter. AdCAD already includes an extensive library of materials, but if you have specific needs, you can define your own materials. DefMatPov command opens a dialog box where you can browse the library and add new material. Suppose we want to define new material starting from Concrete 2. We'll call it Concrete 3. With the Add button, it is placed in the library. While maintaining the same texture image, we can change some finishing parameters. For example, the ambient light and the specular light. We then create the preview with the new finishing values and save our changes. We also have the povmat command that allows you to associate a material with a layer of the drawing. And this is a simple method used by AdCAD to bind the materials. On the left we have layers grouped according to various categories. On the right we have the materials that are grouped by categories. We see that among the materials we also find concrete 3 that we just defined. It's possible to select a layer and see which material is associated to it and select a new material such as brick and associate it to the 5 Attach Material button. As you can see it's possible to change the scale factor for the materials that are based on the texture. At this stage we only need to process the current view in order to verify the different types of material of the wall. In the toolbar we also find the three most common types of light. The parallel light rays like the sun, the spotlight or the point light as we see in the example. Let's modify the parallel ray light in the drawing. As we can see you can vary the intensity and the color of the light by changing the RGB values. If the camera that we select is inside a room, we can get views of the interiors. Let's then select the camera in the room where the stairs are. The POV options command allows us to choose many settings for rendering. For example, we can choose an environment color. You can even enrich the scene with a blue sky or even more interesting with a background photograph to give the environmental impact. Let's therefore choose a background image with our browser. The distance from the camera is purely indicative. However, it must be greater than the distance between the camera and the scene we want to process. In this case it's very important the position from which the photo has been taken and the optical parameters of the device. We then export the scene by selecting the camera. We then see our dwelling properly inserted into the environment captured by the camera. Let's finally try to refine our project with the blue sky effect. You can choose the two colors at zenith and at the horizon. We also insert an infinite plane at the appropriate level that is, the base of the pavement in our drawing. The material of this plane is associated to a virtual layer named Povray Plane. In fact, if we look between the layers, we find in the Render Objects group the Povray Plane layer to which has been associated the material Grass 1. Let's then proceed with the rendering of the scene. We select the nearest camera to the right and see the result. Please note that some imperfections in the image are due to color depth limit of the video capture program.